So the maize and blue are trying to win the Big Ten, their first national championship since 2007 when Michigan State, the team they just took down, yeah. did it. Paul Kaepernick joining me yep. here. What a way to do it against your rival that had won the Big Ten, that had dominated you the last four games. Yeah. That's a storybook for Michigan. Yeah, I mean, and it's tough for Michigan State because you look at that, you're like, it's, it's just hard to beat a team five times in a row, let alone your rival, like you said, and let alone a top ten really good team. So, you know, tough for Michigan State, but Michigan, they've just answered the bell all the time. They lost Seamus Casey, did not, an All-American defenseman did not play in this game. Um, this will be their third straight Frozen Four. Nobody else of the three teams going will be have done that. Um, and it, I, I saw a tweet about this about a month ago when they lost to Minnesota. They were 16th in the pairwise, hmm. which means if they didn't win the Big Ten, they would have been out and, and they would like not have made the, the tournament. the beginning of March, if I'm not mistaken. The last weekend of the regular right. season. So they had to beat Notre Dame in the playoffs. They swept them. They beat Minnesota. That put them, that got them up into the tournament in terms of at large. And then obviously losing to Michigan State didn't. But it's funny how one month can change things. I just think they found their game. Uh, you know, last week they lost the Big Ten tournament in overtime right. to at at Mun. So they they good didn't point. play a bad game. It was a good game. Could have went either way. Um, so Michigan did everything yesterday. They got their skill guys to make great plays. You yep. saw that. And then you lose Seamus Casey. Marshall Warren scored defenseman. Ethan Edwards had a goal and two assists defenseman. So guys stepped up. That you always looking for that in the in the in the tournament, right? right. Who's going to step up? Dylan Duke's Duke got a couple goals. Phenomenal. But to step up for Seamus Casey offensively because he's their best defenseman. He kind of runs their offense. Weird to say that a defenseman does that. But him being out, those other guys really stepped up for Michigan. And that's, what you, that's where successful teams end up in the tournament when that happens. In the third period, had two goals in a 12-second span. Including the Nazar one. And I know you're a Blackhawks fan, sir. Sure. So he saw that. Happy to see. Uh, nice first round pick of the Chicago Blackhawks, and Gavin Brindley scores a goal. So the big boys stepped up at the right time. Again, it's a Michigan team with the top six players in terms of points in the Big Ten, all on their oh, yeah. roster. And we should take a second to talk about Brandon Narado. Remember last year, he's. See if the, he's okay from that bath he took. <laughs> right, yeah. I've just got pneumonia now. He, he's the interim head coach to start yeah. the season. A bad way for the season to start. He gets them all the way to the Frozen Four. They have no choice but to make him the full-time head coach. <laughs> he's back there again, two years in charge of the program, two Frozen Fours. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable what he's done. Young coach, I think he just relates to the young guys. You know, you're seeing that a lot in college sports right now. Um, but he gets it. Um, you know, I've talked to him about it. Talked to one of his assistant coaches I played with in junior hockey, Matt Deschamps. Um, they're just, you, it's all about relationships, I think, at this point. Getting pu pushing the right buttons mm -hmm. at the right times with the players. You got 20 guys on the ice, all wanting all the ice time. You got to spread it out, and then when a guy goes out like Seamus Casey again, someone's got to fill that void. Right. And if you have the guys in the right mentality. I think that just works, and I think Brandon Murado just touch, hits the right buttons at the right time. Yeah, it certainly has been a great hire, <coughs> hire for the maze in blue. They're off to the Frozen Four, so the bracket right now looks like this. Tough one coming up. BC, <laughs> your favorite. They are the number one overall seed in this. If they will win, they'll take on either Denver or Boston University. Your initial thoughts when you see this and you see what Michigan has to do to advance? I mean, it's going to be a track meet. I think the offense is going to be they're two of the top offenses in the country. Um, Michigan's the number one power play in the country. Boston College, they had two or three. Um, it's just going to be interesting. Marshall Warren, the guy I spoke about, is, was a four-year guy at BC, transfers to Michigan, so he's going to be a little amped up. Um, BC had six guys on the World Junior gold medal team. Michigan had four, so a lot of guys that have played together on the USA programs and the national teams are going to be playing against each other. Um, you know, it, it's, it's just going to be – BC has just been the best team all year. But you know what? Michigan is playing their best hockey right now, and I think it's a good matchup. I think it's going to go run and gun. It's going to come down to what the old cliche in hockey, goaltending. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Jake Barchespi has been great. Fowler for BC is phenomenal. So um, we've got about 10 days to dissect. April and, 11th. Um, yep. I'll just keep doing that for the next yeah. 10 days. Michigan will be looking for their first national championship this century. 1998 yeah. was the last time they won one. And because they have moved on, that means Michigan State yeah. is done with their season as well. Uh, Minnesota and Wisconsin. Let me start with the Spartans. Yep. 
this is an undeniably successful season for MSU. Yeah, I mean, if, when you think about it, there's only going to be one team that's going to be completely happy right. at the end of the year. But I think the the stepping stones that Adam Nightingale's done this year, I talked about it last week on the show, uh, to win the Big Ten in the regular season, to win the Big Ten uh, playoffs, things that have not been done at Michigan State. Um, he's just – and he's set up for the long haul. I think that's the important. And we're going to talk about other teams in the league too. But – this is a program. This isn't like a, you know, a, a flash in the pan type of situation. He's building for the future. Um, yeah, unfortunate they couldn't they couldn't win. I, I hated the matchup that they had to get grouped in the same bracket. But you know that's the way the NC. When you get too many Big Ten teams in, there's only 16 teams in it. Yeah, it's gonna happen once in a while. Um, so unfortunately that way, but a great season for Michigan State. You were at the regional Minnesota yep. was at. Their season comes to a close. They beat Omaha, then lose to BU. How do you look yep. back on this year for the Gophers? Man, it's, it's interesting. I, I, a little what if, you know, if they could have been a little more consistent, but they're, they had a lot of youth, and they lost a ton of talent. They have five guys playing in the NHL right now. That's just really hard to overcome. Um, they have some really nice players. They had a great game. They had a 2 nothing lead late in the first period. Justin Close gave up a goal that any, everybody was like, I, we, he would take that back in a second. But he had a great career, um, and they just weren't able to get over the hump. BU is going to be fantastic. They're the number two team in the country for a reason. Uh, but Minnesota, um, I think this is a year that's going to be looked at good for next year because they have a ton of guys that will most likely be coming back yeah. and obviously we bring in some more young talent right. um, but this should be a good stepping stone for them for next year how about Wisconsin they lose in overtime to the defending yeah. national champs yeah I mean again everyone's disappointed if they don't make it to the end but when you look at what Mike Casing has done in such in one year I mean he did even more than what Adam Nightingale was able to do in his first year mm -hmm. um, I think Another team, just like Michigan State, that they're building for the future. Yes, they wanted to go on. They wanted to win the Frozen Four, uh, but they had a six. They, they're one game away from winning the Big Ten regular season, um, and Mike Hastings is the key there. He's going to be able to recruit really well and bring in the right type of guys. He's going to build a culture. Everyone talks about culture, but he's a guy that's done that. I played for him in the past. He's phenomenal at doing that. He gets guys to buy in. And the future is bright at Wisconsin. Just a tough overtime loss, too. I mean, that's just devastating. Right. Yeah, and at least they were back in the tournament after missing it for the last yeah, few years. Yeah, exactly. Years. Paul Capanigri, like you said, 10 days and the Frozen I can count down. Watch some basketball in between. You're allowed. Okay. You're allowed to switch sports <laughs> for sure. Hello.